Well, our parts look more better. Do you think that we can accomplish something today? I hope so. Here we go. All right, welcome back. If you haven't seen my videos before, I'm Ross the Oliver Man, and we've got new stuff. And I think the first thing I'm gonna do is put the water pump on, and then we'll go from there. So I need to get this cleaned up a little bit more better in there before we start. And I thought I brought a flashlight, so I'm gonna have to track that down just a second. Okay. I don't think that we can cram all the stuff in here we need, but, and I don't even know if you can see, but we're going to try the old carbide scraper to Jeez, that's going to be a lot, a lot of scraping. There. Watching me scrape for an hour. I'll bring it back in a little bit. All right, I think that's done and ready to go back together. So we need to take that rag off and be careful to not to rake trash into the hose. But I think we can make that happen. Also, we're a hose clamp short somehow. So we're going to have to investigate that situation. Probably would be better to do that right away. Oh, there it is, I see it. Okay, so I'll throw that back on and I'll get this greased up and we'll try to put that in there. First, we throw this again. That would be sad. Get that trash out of there. Can't get it all in there. certainly been nice to keep the gasket up there, wouldn't it? Instead of throwing it to the floor. I'm gonna have to go to the other side. That's the side that you're on. Now, if I'd been thinking, I would have brought my light over to this side with me. But I didn't do that, because I'm an idiot. All right. Okay. How about we just play nice? How about that? How about we not do that goofy thing you're doing? Like with the gasket. It's gonna go. It's gonna go. It's just a matter of getting all the pieces. Where we want them. I think you're gonna have to move, unfortunately. I'm trying to do too many operations here at the same time. All right. Now I think we're cooking. We just gotta get all the bolts started first, and then we'll. Yeah. I'll go to the other side and start those. Very nice, isn't it? Very nice view where you can't see anything. That one started. Is this one started? I think they're all started except the new one. Because if you don't know, one of the bolts comes with the pump. Because you can't get to it. Because of the pulley. So let's go back around. I think we got her now. All right, so we'll get this tightened up and put back together. All right, so this is all back in except I 
forgot to bring enough stuff to put this line back in. I thought I could reuse the 90 degree that was up here, but I can't get it apart. So, and the auto parts store was out, so I gotta check and see if I got one at home or find other options. This side here takes a 45 and that'll work. But uh, yeah, you can't use a 45 up there. It'll hit the fan. And the fitting that was in the other pump was 90 degrees, but it didn't have the right kind of threads coming out. It was like pipe thread with a plug in it. So we're gonna have to table that and I guess we'll go work on brakes. Now, for this sadness, we gotta get those seals pulled out. And it is a nice time, I'm telling you, when the wheels are set in. I think we can get to it. We just gotta be creative. We also gotta find the right size drill bit. So, hopefully you'll be able to see what's happening, but basically, we're gonna drill a hole in the seal, maybe. If we can get our drill in there, which is gonna be the next affair. We almost broke our drill bit. Things are stupid. Come on. Okay, there's a hole. Now we'll slide in, thread in our little hammer. Slide hammer. Maybe. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. Oh, you know what? We're not turning the screw. I need to get my wrench. I don't have a lot of room here. So I'm hoping that I can get this done. But this seal should just hammer right out. Started to, but fold out too soon. Hate it when that happens. Might have to go to a different spot and get another hole on it. Yeah, because we ruined that hole. Okay, well. Eventually, if we destroy it enough, it will come out either anyway. I think they tore up their silage chopper, so they're out there working on that. Alright. Man, I just don't have enough room to myself like I'd like but like I said get enough holes in it it's gonna come apart either way oh the contortion act I have to do to get this They're probably cooked in there. Pretty good. Gee. full of holes by the time we're done. The other one's going to be a thrill because I can't even get this far in it as far as sitting. Oh. That's why I thought I'd do this one on camera because I thought it would be an easy one. But it's so far it is not proving to be that that way. 
Hmm. Let's drill between these two. Eventually something's going to happen. It just may not be what we want. Come on. Come on. Oh, why is there not threading in there? There. Come on. Come on. There. Finally. It only took one, two, three, four, five tries to get that out of there. Ain't that grand. Now we gotta clean. Get that totally clean again. I had it kinda clean a while ago or earlier, but I can't get up on the dirt. Get out of there, Trash. Is it clean enough yet? I want to give it another coat. Totally clean. I had it clean, but hard to see under here. I think we're good. Make sure that it's clean though. Now, are we good enough? I hope so. Some people will probably say no, but that's what we're gonna do. Now, for the new seal, we're gonna, we're gonna grease up the inside really good. Because we don't want If we can help it, we don't want to cut the seal. And then for the outside, we're going to put just a little bit of the number two on there, just a little bit, just to help her seal. All right. Now what we got is a mess on our hands. So, all right, I'm going to put that up in there for a second. I actually made a new driver for this because my other one was just always a piece of pipe. And I thought it'd be nice to have one that was had a hammering surface. So that's what I've done. We need to go down a little bit. Am I happy with that?
I think that looks pretty even all the way around. You can second guess yourself into a problem. So, finally you just gotta walk away. All it can do is leak and then I have to come back and do it again. You know, that's possible. Yeah, it's possible, but I'm going to call that good. Now, these new brake discs are a little bit thicker than the old ones. So we're going to have to have a solution for that, which I do. And I'll share that here in a little bit. Got everything cleaned up and ready to go together so what I'm doing now is I'm threading my acorn nut or whatever you want to call it ball nut This is where it's going to bite us, see, because uh, you'll see in a minute what I'm talking about. This one isn't as bad as some, but the brake discs, since they're thicker, just practically stand proud. Not quite, but it can cause heat problems whenever everything heats up from moving. So we're going to have to put some shims between this and the cover. And I'll show you what I do. It works. It's not factory, but it's tons cheaper than if you bought the factory brake shims. So, yeah, let me get this turned in part way here. All right, so that's at rest. But like I said, it's just, just, this one's better than some, but still. Okay, so in order to get ourselves space between this cover and the plate because see like now I could put it on and tighten it down but it'll be glowing after you drive it a short order so what I do I will put if I can get them out of here and I might start with just one on each bolt to start with because they don't but I use these machine bushings and just put them between the cover and that and then I'll fill the gap with RTV and it does work. It may not be factory, but if it works and it's stupid, is it really stupid? I've been doing that a lot 
so we'll put one on each one and bolt it down and see see what it looks like oh yeah I think that'll I think that'll be adequate on this one I've had to do more before if they weren't very worn like your housings castings but this one was pretty war. I ran it through the old Fiat flywheel resurfacing tool and that took a bunch. Uh, it had a, a pretty aggressive lip war in it is what the problem was. So. this works which I should have explained earlier but it, it and I think I did in that one video when you pull on that rod it just moves those two plates apart there's steel balls in between and they ride up out of each other and that just expands this whole operation so yeah let's see here double checking got distracted All right. Now, to do this, I should have got my 7 8 wrench, and I didn't do that. Will this little feller do this for me? Everything's clean now, so it should. Let's move you back here so you can get some idea of what's happening. Nothing yet. I'm going to have to get the real wrench. This one's not going to quite cooperate almost but not quite I'd rather them be a little loose to start with until they get wore in and I'll just have to tell him that if I have to come back in six months and or a year because they probably won't use it now again until next year but Hitting that cover. You definitely have bricks. Like I said, though, I don't want. That's probably too much. Can I seize through that crack? <laughs> what to do? How far do I want to go? Well. I think it needs to be just a shade looser than that. At least to start with. To start with, we're going there. Then we'll put us some RTV on three sides. Like I said, you can agree with this or not. I don't really care. It's just what I do. I gotta get a, something to cut the tip off of this. All right, so that side's done. Like I said, I usually use the caulking gun style and it's easier to shoot it down in there. So I think on the next one, when I get what I want, I'll take it off and just run a bead around the lid, put it on and be done with it. So that's what we'll do, but you don't need to watch me do the same thing again. So 
I'll work on that and then bring you back when we're done. All right, that side's back together and adjusted up. I think we're good to go. I'm going to leave everything like it sits, battery out, so that nobody tries to move it or start it until I get this line. i got to get a 90 degree fitting. I hate that I have to run away for that, but it's about school bus time anyway, so it's just as well. By the time I get home, it'll be time to take off. So I'll have time to run to the parts store and see about ordering one or going to another parts store and getting one or something. So that's where we stand. But otherwise, we are very close to the test running and whatever. So I got everything back together. And yeah, so we'll put the water in it next time after we get our line made. And hopefully, he'll be back in business. Okay, I'm hoping to wrap this up. I could not find anywhere in town the 90 degree fitting. So what I did, I took the old one home and heated it up and got her to come apart. So I'm hoping that this will work. I don't usually like to do this with brass, but kind of, uh, we're kind of out of options here, see? Kind of like we're almost at a camera battery, see? So we'll have to probably switch camera batteries before this is done. But I really wanted to get this done for him so they could use it because otherwise it's going to be two days and that's a long a long time well shoot i was hoping that i could use that to for some stability and it don't look like it's going to work out for me that way i'm talking to myself so you probably don't know what i'm talking about but i wanted to leave that old piece of line in there so that when I go turning on this, I don't accidentally see there. <laughs> I should go around one more time, but I'm gonna regret it. I'm gonna regret it. I know how this game goes, folks. This ain't my first rodeo. You think you're gonna do one more, and then what'd you end up doing? You end up rounding the corners off or deforming this where it's not a round shape anymore and it don't take much we're gonna quit with that let's check now before we get too engrossed and make sure that this goes in there still Will that go? I think it will. Alright. Now the next affair is going to be the 45 fitting in here. And the next affair will be that the piece of line is too long and we'll have to make our own which is what we more than likely will have to do. I was hoping I could get by with just using an off-the-shelf piece. So what you're going to want to do is go ahead and round this one off. Jam that in there with the tape till you hear it go tink. And then you know. I think I'm gonna go like that. And see if I can't fool this into playing with me. Let's see here. Yeah, see it's gonna make us just barely. I could go past it a little bit. But see, we got to keep it up out of this fan. And I don't have a lot of 
I don't have a lot of room to do that, see? That's going to hit. Now I could take this a little more past and then do a number like that there. I'm going to try it. I'm going to have this thing destroyed, but you know. Hmm. So close, but yet so far. Now, we're gonna have to cheat a little. It's okay. As long as we don't let anyone catch us. I need to get an actual wrench of the right size now. Yep. Oh shoot. Okay, we're not really at 45 degrees. like 23 and a third. There we go. Now, if we can get it out by doing that. Get that. I think it'll clear. Okay, come on. So close. We're so, so close. There. There, baby doll. I'm gonna go get a wrench, but that'll clear. Yup. Okay. Let's hope for the best. There we go. I know, I kept in that last video, maybe even, I don't know when. I keep calling this a bypass line, and it's not really bypass. It's to let air get out of the pump. It's kind of a bypass for air. Let's helps you so that you don't, you know, get a slug of air trapped in there and then you're running your pump dry. But kind of important-ish. All right. I think we're ready. I think we're ready to put water back in and then see what sort of tragedy befalls us. Or we'll spill half of it, I'll say it that way. Alright, we're at the moment of truth here. I had a little drip, but I think I got that worked out. So, then again, I might not. I might have to go back over here and tighten the other half of this. This little line is Causing me some grief. I have to set you down. All right, we're gonna run it and see what happens. I got the radiator cap off so we can uh, what am I saying? So it can let out any air that might be trapped.
worn in a little bit, but uh, so far it looks okay. But I'm not gonna film that because it's not my place. I don't want to show more than what you've already seen. All right, we're gonna call that done. I gave it a test drive and I think we're good. It was puking out a little out of the overflow. Probably because I topped her off too much. But I think everything else looks dry. And I told him about the brakes. I do not tighten them super tight when you start. Because if you do that, the thickness of those new brake discs, sometimes when it heats up, they'll lock up. So I got it, you know, where you got brakes. But as he uses it a little bit in the next few months, uh, you can probably tighten them up a little more to get better, you know. I think they're, like I said, they're a little on the loose side, but that's, I would rather have that than have them lock up going down the road pulling a loaded wagon. So, uh, it's been my experience when they do that, they don't just lock like that. The tractor sounds like it's going up a hill and it pulls down, 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 down. But I've also followed people who had that happening and they didn't realize it and I could smell it from miles away and see the smoke of the tractor and the thing was practically glowing. So you'll know when it burns that paint off that you had them, you know, too tight. But like I said, I think the thing needs a tune up. I told him that, that's up to him. I'm sure they can do that themselves. If not, whatever, they got my number. But I'm gonna call this here. We fixed what we came to fix and hopefully it does a good job for them and I don't have to do any warranty work because that's always fun when you do it for nothing later but I try to do a good job to start with so hopefully that is uh, you know the case and we don't have to go back and I got to work on another tractor that was sold at our dealer here which I've never worked on this one before so I wish the sticker was in a little better shape so you could read it but yeah he said he bought it new from there and I believe it. So that's where we're gonna call this one. As always, if you like the videos, uh, give them a thumbs up, leave a comment, tell me what you wanna see or don't wanna see. Tell me you liked it, tell me you hated it, tell me you hate me, whatever. Anything you do helps the channel. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.